Hello, Elizabeth Monroy here with Florence International Film School and InfiniteHuman.com and I had one of you guys, subscribers, ask me about manifesting. Now there's all kinds of stuff about that, the secret and you know, crystal grid systems and <laughs> all kinds of hoodoo and voodoo to <laughs> get what you want. So I'm going to give it to you straight, really, really, really simple. First of all, the most important thing of all is to learn what it is you want out of life. That's what life's about. Unfortunately, we don't start kids in nursery school or kindergarten learning that. That's what you are supposed to be doing when you're young, playing and learning and, 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 and expressing yourself and creating and feeling what feels good to you. What brings you bliss? Which activities, whether it's, for me, yeah, of course, I, as a kid, I'm a writer, so I'd always make up stories with spices or Barbie dolls or Christmas and holiday candles, anything I get my hands on, I was writing, uh, creating this whole drama <laughs> with kingdoms and princesses and marriages and all kinds of things. So that was me, for example. So your job is to start to play with life, start to experiment, start to find out what it is you enjoy doing, what makes you feel good, what brings you your bliss. Then once you do that, that will also be your, what I call your soul purpose blueprint because it's really simple and God, the infinite creation made it simple so that you'll, you can't mess up even though everyone's trying to mess you up. <laughs> what you love to do is your sole purpose. That's why you came here. What you're good at is your gifts and talents that you brought like a snowflake. You're one of, or your fingerprints, you're one of a kind. And you've brought these very unique gifts and talents to share with the world. And it feels good. It feels great when you do it. You love it, you love it, love it, love it. So that's the first key is to uncover what it is that, that you love to do. It makes you feel great, which brings you your bliss. Then what you want to do is just, I, I always say, you don't have to make a big deal of it, but get, you know, when you feel really good, do it when you're in a high vibration, when you're feeling really good, um, when you're in a good mood, you know, and then just kind of, you can do a meditation, you can close down, you can doodle, you can draw pictures, whatever way to just kind of space out, zone out, tap into the, what I call the planet of imagination in my children's book, The Magical Mist, uh, your, the power of your imagination, which is so incredibly strong. It is the most powerful tool you have, and of course, probably all your life like everyone else you know stop daydreaming you know, when you're in school or you know stop disturb that's what I talk about in my children's book the magical mist you know stop disturbing the class with your talks about worlds of imagination and queen fantasy and king infinite and creating the life you want through your imagination because that's how you do it. So the first thing is you, also you begin to imagine, how does that feel? Put it on, try something. If you wanna live in this house, imagine yourself in the house. Even if you, uh, you know, flip through a magazine or go on the internet or get ideas, get, get, you know, inspired and figure out what you want. Where do you want to live? Like I said, house. What do you want to do? What excites you every day? Do you like to sing? Do you like to write stories? Do you like to make videos? Do you like to travel? Do you like to talk about uh, places and show people around? <laughs> Which is <laughs> what I do. So all those things are things I love to do and I've incorporated them into my life. And then you figure out ways you can get money or get paid for that or, or you be supported, have that lifestyle supported financially. And um, again, the big thing that so many people have done is they've sold their soul for money, for security, and there's nothing wrong with money. You, you, you've probably heard me talk about it a lot, but money's energy. That's all it is. It's exchange of energy. So, you know, of course, if someone's going to give you a million dollars, you're not going to say no because it's energy. There's so many things you could do with that energy um, to, um, to create a lifestyle you want. And I'm sure that in your imagining and your creating, part of the bliss 
is always sharing it with others. When, when, if you think about your life, the times you've been blissful, the times you've been happy is when you've shared of yourself, your true nature with others. And that brings a great deal of joy. So begin to trust that your ideas, your instincts, your impulses are good. They're from God, they're from the Creator, they're positive things that are gonna make not only you a better person, but the whole planet a better person. Because as I've said in other videos, when you feel good, when you feel radiant, when you feel love, you are exuding that, you are sharing that, you are expressing that with humanity. And humanity gains from you, the world gains, the earth, the universe gains. So begin to start imagining what you want out of life. And and then see it, be it, feel it is one of the mantras here. And what it is is you want to begin to not only imagine it, but actually start stepping into it, being it. If you imagine yourself as a confident, strong, beautiful person, then child, start being that person, start standing up tall, start dressing the way you want to dress, start wearing your hair the way you want to wear it, start being the person you want to be it. Oh, and Kiki's having a really good time here with her friends. Okay, you have fun. So anyway, that's how you manifest in short, and I'll talk more about that in other videos, but see it, be it, feel it. Learn what it is, start to imagine it, start to pretend, you know, fake it till you make it, be an actor, you know, pretend to be the way you want to be. Pretend you have that money in your bank account. Pretend you live in that house without feeling lack because you don't. Pretend these things, pretend them into being because your imagination, again, is the most powerful thing you have. So anyway, ciao for now.